I think I can. Don't, don't try. Hi. <laughs> Whoa, we are we are wild and crazy tonight, folks. Um, <laughs> so uh, there's some happy mail that just arrived, and Ray is obviously very excited. So let me say, it. okay, ah! okay, we're gonna we're gonna show everybody the happy mail in just a second. Um, so my name is Darlene. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Happy Friday, TJF. Cheers. It is our sip and so. Did I dent my cup? I dented my sip and so cup. Well, at least I, yeah, at least I'm not dumping it in my machine. So anyway, uh, my name is Darlene. I'm the founder of Featherweight Doctor. This is my favorite show of the week. This is the Friday night sip and so. Um, we are going to be working on the Astra Pillow Topper project that I took a class with here in my own shop recently. It uses Katie from Zomco's Astra pattern. So I'm still working on the slow hand stitching on it. Um, let me say hi to some friends and then we'll show you what's in the happy mail. Reagan can barely contain herself. She is quite excited about the happy mail. Uh, why don't you start at the beginning and tell them what this is while I get on to my feeds. Okay. Um, so, tell them who you are first. So, I'm Ray. Um, I <laughs> dance. What? Well, well, not has on Justin Facebook. responded to you? No. My Facebook's been a little weird today, so it won't surprise me if it's not going to work. Uh, YouTube Studios. Um... I'm in the Nutcracker this year, and Mom has decided to donate and make a Nutcracker quilt for a certain gala that is happening with the dance studio and the orchestra, and we needed to order some specific fabric. We needed some Nutcracker holiday-themed fabric, and the only fabric line I could think of is Rifle Paper Company <laughs> because their holiday line is my favorite and I have been wanting their holiday line for about two years. So this is the quilt that we're doing. That we're doing. So this is Patchwork and Poodles. Patchwork and Poodles is the um is the brand of the pattern that I have for the Misty Mountain uh pattern. She also does some quilted jackets which I'm looking at. We needed um, we needed to pick something that was big. So, right. Because the because Rifle Paper Company's uh, any kind of fabric line is always really busy. So. Yeah, and we wanted to really highlight the fabric. Yeah. So what I like about this particular, this is called a Woolly Petals Floored Pattern, Floored Quilt Pattern. Yeah, woody, Woolly Petals. So it's, notice it's very... Um, I only have a black and white printer. How tacky, huh? Uh, it makes big squares so we can really, oh my goodness. So this is so called, pretty. it's her. This uh, is the right, Holiday Classics. Holiday Classics. I'm going to show you the backing first because I feel like that's the like, well, I'll show you what the It's the is. money. So this is the backing. Look at the little nutcrackers. So this will be the backing of it. All right, let me say hi to everybody. So grandma's on. Hi, grandma. Um, Nancy's on from Lake Stevens. Kathy's on from East Texas. Cindy Matthews is on. Pam Ernest. No Judy way. Dancer. Bernadette's on. Hi, sweetheart. Um, <clears throat> the other grandma's on. Uh, Rhonda's on. Uh, oh, Kat's on. Hi, Kat from Virginia. Kathy, Kathy from SoCal. Debbie from Kentucky. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Hi, John. How's it going? Wait, John Kurzberger. I bet this isn't a John. I bet this is, who's, is it Linda Kurz, Kurnsberger? Uh, anyway, Lisa's on from Phoenix. Do, do, do. Quilt Haven on Main. Hi, guys. She says hello. From Quilt Haven on Main, we are in the middle of Camp of Camp Quilt S'mores three-day retreat. Gosh, you guys have like the most fun events, I swear. Getting ready for a camp meal of brats and beans. I have a funny story about that. Okay. Making tabletop schmores later. Tuxedo Man has been pouring beverages. This retreat is not exclusive to the featherweights, but there's, and there's room for a few more. Nice. That sounds awesome. Hi, Mel. Hi, Mel. Judy P is on from Massachusetts. Franny's on. Okay. We have Polly and Christine and Odie. Hi, guys. Sandy. Sandy Martin. Julie Campbell. Charlene from Australia. Hi, Charlene. Thanks for tuning in, girl. 
Charlene has been a regular viewer, everybody. I think we're going to get Australia one viewer at a time. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, did you have, I thought you were saying happy meal at the beginning. So, oh, happy mail. Happy meal would not nearly be as exciting. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, there is. Oh, it's a blouse. Oh my gosh, you guys. So this is, this is a blouse. Here, I'll show you. It's really cute. Uh, this is, Oh, I thought I saw a spider. We're good. This is from my favorite influencer from Amazon. Look at how cute. Isn't it cute? It's my color too. And yes, there is a, Mel wants you to show more. The Band-Aid on my finger. I, no, if she'll have you show more, I'll show her. Oh, 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 okay. Mel, come here, Ray. Come show, show no, us more. We got the, we got the, the okay, sorry. Hold on. <laughs> okay. I hurt myself on an antique brother. That's the story on the finger. I was bleeding. All right, here we go. You know? So look at the trees. You got to go, yeah, that way. You know? I'll sit. Two. I love that one. Can you guys see it? It has gold foil and it's like Tiffany blue. Boop. That's so pretty. Boop. So this is the fat quarter pack of everything in their collection. I think there's almost 30 fat quarters in here. Um, we only need half as many for our poodles and but patchwork. But mom's going to make two, so. So Ray gets one. Mom's going to make two. That's the same as the back end. <laughs> Franny says, ooh la la. <laughs> I think this is what she calls um holiday classics. Oh yeah, holiday classics is the line. There is a holiday classics two coming out. I love this collection. It's so soft. This one's rich too. It's green. <coughs> okay. I know that's a big shocker. I like the green one. One more stack. Hold on. Judy P, I'm so glad you're up and about slowly, I'm sure. Pretty. You know what's cool is there's enough color colors in every colorway where you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the quilts. Mm. Oh, just try it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I found the keys. Where oh. were they? There's another pocket in my bag. Oh, thank goodness! I'm glad, girl. Yeah, and I caught my sister before she got too far from home. So. All right, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye. My poor student lost her keys. We've all been helping her tear through everything. <laughs> okay, mom, you gotta pick a favorite to show people. I gotta pick a favorite? Well, it has to be one of the green ones. I mean, come on. Uh, honestly, I like this one. It has like, I love the scale of the fabric too. Oh, I see the Mouse King. Drossel There's Meyer. Clara. Drosselmeyer's on there too, I think. Yep, Drosselmeyer. This is my favorite. It's the same fabric. It's, it's just... not the same. You, this has a white oh, background. Oh, yeah. And there's little gingerbreads. And I got little cakes and stuff on mine. Isn't that cool? So she's... Oh, my gosh, y'all. She went out to the... Like all the... Oh, this is for the backing. Yeah. Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen from Montana. Oh, hold on. Very Christmassy. Mary Karen says, I just finished my baby quilts. Ah, congratulations, Mary. No more piecing for me for a while. I'm going to bind quilts. I get that. I get that. Oops. Do, do, do. I know this fabric is pretty spectacular and I can assure you it was a pretty penny. I was like, how much am I donating to the ballet school? <laughs> Uh, it's a for a good cause, right? It's got to support the arts. Mel, Mel from Bay St. Louis is on here tonight. Mel, you're doing a, um, the, uh, is it the Artesian Fair? The same weekend I'm doing the one here. That's fun. We'll both need to put our feet up after the end of that weekend. All right. So that quilt is going to be happening here in the next couple weeks before um, the the show weekend is December 9th, 10th, 
and 11th, I think. And so there's a gala. Reagan says, I need to call it a gala. No, Which one is it? Gala or gala? Gala. Ga- gala. Gala. Ga- gala. Gala. Yeah. I don't think that sounds right. <laughs> Cindy Matthew says, Judy, so glad you're mending and no one said you had to run. Yes. No one said you have to run. It's like, pretend you're a walking foot. It's a walking foot, not a running foot. We're going slow and steady. <laughs> I know, the two quilts are going to be cute. Who is cutting? Who, Franny, who do you think's cutting? Do you think Ray's going to help? I'm actually making her help on this quilt. Hi, Darla K. Weiss Pad- Padgett. What email can I send? Oh, you can send an um, email of a pick and a question to info, I-N-F-O at featherweight doctor, all spelled out, all one word, dot com. All right. So guess what I'm going to see tomorrow? Just guess. This is uh, so far a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. Uh, Flamingo. Judy Putnam, you're a flamingo. (laughs) All right, Mary, we'll see you Monday. Go back to work, girl. So it's gala, not gala. What do you mean, no? Gala. Gala. Isn't that what I just said? Gala, gala. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's a fancy event. Y'all, Andy has to wear a black tie. <laughs> uh, oh, Ga- Gar- Gala. You said Gala. Okay. Now everybody's correcting me. Thanks, Reagan. You're saying Gala? No, it's Gala. No, it's Gala. No, it's Gala. <laughs> it's a fancy party. We're not calling it a Gala, Gala, whatever. <laughs> Andy has to wear a tuxedo. That's all I can say. <laughs> Gaylar. Gayla. Charlie. I'm not asking the Australian. <laughs> Charlene. <laughs> oh, Gay Gayla. Is that right? Gayla? Gayla. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Judy P. She says either. <laughs> Either way, we know what we're talking about. A shindig. Shindig. Yes, Charlene. Yes, it's a shindig. All right. So tonight I'm working on my slow hand stitching project still. I should probably thread up some pearl cotton in a size eight. (laughs) Uh, It depends on what part of the country. Yes, exactly, Pauline. It depends what part of the country you're from. All right, I'm going to try to do this hand stitching. It's a ball. <laughs> I don't know if there's dancing, though. There's food. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. I, I have a fancy dress. So anytime I have an excuse to wear a fancy dress, I am all about it. I'll take pictures. Don't worry. Oh, black tie event. <laughs> you guys are so cute. <laughs> We're just going to call it a shindig. I think Charlene's on to the right, the right program here. Also, my sister is coming. The other sister, not the evil twin. Evil twin is, <clears throat> is already here. So other sister is coming. I'm pretty excited to see her. It has been a while. Um, and she's bringing her new daughter-in-law. Hi, Jake McDonald. Hello. Oh, Jade. I'm like, who is this creeper? (laughs) I am not wearing an evening gown. Just a, um, what do they call it? A LBD, little black dress. Just call it a big party. Exactly. Jade, are you having fun in San Diego? We miss you. You drank too much. Drank too much water. Uh, my adoptive daughter, Jade, is on here. I tend to collect daughters. 
love it. Uh, she just got married and she's on her honeymoon. They went to San Diego. How fun is that? Yes, cocktail dress. <laughs> Julie Campbell says, anytime a lady is wearing long gowns, the guys are miserable. I can't believe Andy agreed to go, Julie. Honestly, I was not even going to, you know, consider going. And then he was the one that was like, your daughter, Sugar Plum, and you are a small business owner in a small town. You should probably go. And I'm like, okay, I'll go make a donation. That's fine. And I have not one, but at least two, if not three dresses to choose from. So I, we used to be fancy people. We're not fancy people anymore. We live in North Idaho. Not fancy here. <laughs> he is a proud papa for sure. Hi, Patty Smith from Missouri. Thanks for tuning in. We're talking about shindigs, formal black tie shindigs and sewing tonight. And I'm having a little trouble. Oh, let me. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, nope. There. Okay. Having a little trouble getting this to cooperate. Mm -hmm. Yes. I do in my, um, oh, yes, I do in my other little gray bag. It's in that little stack thing. It's the bottom or the top. I can't remember. All right. Well, how was everybody's week? Mine was awesome. It's, you know, it's the weather is just starting to turn here. We went from like summer to winter in um, a matter of a week and a half, like literally just had the air conditioner on in our bedroom, not even a week ago. And now it's like, nope, all the windows are closed and the furnace is kicking on. And I remember when we lived in the Seattle area, I tried to like, um, uh, I tried to not turn the heat on until like November 1st. We've almost made it. <laughs> it's been on for a little bit though. I'm married to a bunch of like weenies. Both Andy and Ray are cold babies. They have, we're cold. I'm like, put a sweatshirt on. Come on. <laughs> you think Polly? She said, Andy's going to be smiling like the Cheshire cat with his girls on his arms. I think actually Ray will have to ignore us because she is there for photo opportunities with the guests. The sugar plums make an appearance and then people, you know, get pictures with them. Wait, what's this? I had a small gray unwanted visitor the other night. A mouse ran across my windowsill. <gasps> Lisa, burn the house down. Not okay. Not okay. Nope. Nope. How many dogs do you have? And your husband's on the road right now. Oh my goodness gracious. That is terrible. <laughs> Charlene says she had an exhausting week because she's got it's the weekend. It's about 85 degrees Fahrenheit there. That sounds kind of perfect if I'm being honest. Caught him in a trap but he got away, but ended up chasing him out the, out the door the next morning. So glad he's gone. You said I like eight traps. I would have like burnt the house down. <laughs> I say no, thank you to rodents. <laughs> I was at this uh, Tuesday night group that we go to and, uh, one of the families, they're very sweet. I really like them, but they just got a pet snake. And I'm like, <laughs> I swear you should have seen the look on my face. I'm like, did you say snake? <laughs> and it's the, it's the teenage daughter. And her name is uh, Rihanna. And I looked at her mom and I, Rihanna's mom. And I was like, you let her get a snake. She goes, well, actually I kind of like snakes too. I'm like, how do you like snakes. 
they're literally the symbol of the devil in the Bible is a serpent. <laughs> it's a snake. <laughs> Cindy Matthews said, I had had one block to make for the sew along. It did more ripping than sewing. I uh, should have had put it off for a day or four. I know, Kathy, no to the snake. But apparently, yeah, my animal, my children were never allowed to have any kind of reptiles or rodents. Because the only thing you ever hear about those things is how they get out of their cages. And then... I'm not sleeping, so that's not happening. Lisa said he ran across the floor while I was eating breakfast and all the dogs just laid there sleeping while I chased them out the back door. Some watchdogs, Lisa, some watchdogs. <laughs> Charlene said I'd burn the house down for one, of, for one of our, yeah, your spiders are no joke in Australia. Yep. They're the, they're the frying pan ones, right? Um, my husband used to work for a company that was based in Australia. It was the U S affiliate, but his, the president of the U S affiliate had gone to Australia. They make off road. Yeah. Dinner plates. Oh yes. No, I have a near heart attack. If I see an eight legged monster. Oh yeah. No, nope, I agree. Girl. I agree. Um, but anyway, Jim, who was telling us that he was down, uh, they make off road parts for like Jeeps and stuff, uh, like, uh, their name is ARB. They make bumpers and, um, uh, differentials lockers for cl rock climbing and stuff. So anyway, Jim's down in Australia and there was like a herd of this migrating spider pack. And it was so fast that he jumped up onto the bumper of the car cause it turned towards him. Nope. Nope. -ity. Nope. 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 Kathy says to Lisa, do you have a doxy? They usually do pretty, do pretty well chasing. Yeah, that's, I, I do. I know you have little dogs, but do you have a doxy, Lisa? I don't know. I haven't met the, let the cutie pies. Yeah. Big bush huntsman spiders. We also have bird eating spiders. Charlene, this is one reason why I could not come visit you is because I can't do the frying pan size spiders. I can't. And any spider that's big enough to eat a bird, nope. Also, a nope. Hard pass. Like, I am so sensitive to spiders that I can't even watch, like, spider videos on Facebook or TikTok because I have nightmares. It's not good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a herd of spiders. They, they travel in my migratory patterns. Bernadette. <laughs> on top of the car with a flamethrower. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see what else is going on around here this week. I got to get my sample done for all of you all for our next sew along. I'm hoping to have it done for the announcement this coming Wednesday. So definitely tune into the Wednesday show. Some of the absolute best times I've had with this group is when we are all working on a project together. And so I'm hoping that you guys will want to want to sew along with me. Um, so I'm hoping to have the, the sample done this week. Um, I've been uh, just doing all kinds of other stuff. I got this other little gift this week. Look how cute this is. It's 12 quilt bookmarks. Isn't it cute? There's a puzzle guy next door and he has like some quilted puzzles and stuff. And so these are all little bookmarks that are all cute with different little quilting patterns on them. So Andy surprised me with this this week. I thought that was really cute. Have you tried, oh, Judy talks to me about beeswax. Are you talking about for my thread? Because this is a super big pain in the tail. I'm willing to try anything at this point. <laughs> is the beeswax like a notion? I can find it on one of my notion sites, Judy. That would be cool. 
All right. So what else is going on with you guys? What have you been sewing? Is I mean, Charlene's obviously sitting in 85 degree weather in Australia, but are you guys bundled up yet? Tucked into the sewing rooms for the winter? Us quilters, we tend to hibernate during the, uh, oh yes for the, okay. I'll have to look into that, Judy. I'll let you know what I find, girl. I had a class today and they were all big um, fans of Luna. She got lots of attention today. Yes, Charlene, the, um, the sew along will be at the same time on Wednesday night, four o'clock Pacific. So an old, oh, it's an old fashioned thing. Okay, Judy. So uh, what it is, is we're going to do one block and on camera, put together one block and then I'm going to quilt it. And then you'll have other additional blocks to make to be for the sew along. And then the sew along will go for four weeks. So we have four different blocks to do. We have multiple of each, but there are four different styles to do. And we're going to make them and quilt as you go. And then um, on if you pay for the cutting instructions to join, you will get to be with me in a private Zoom class on the fifth week. And I know that's in the morning for you. So hopefully that would work, Charlene. And then we will put together the um, instructions because it's a little different than the other ones that I've done because there is inside corners on the, on the trees, on the skirt, not the skirt, on the, um, on the table topper. <laughs> Luna is the best sweet pea. It can, the conditions, the thread even. Oh, okay. Best way. Let's see. Christine said, just started started working on a cathedral window, pillow for my grandson. Each window will have a different Spider-Man fabric. Sorry for the spider reference. <laughs> I'll forgive you. <laughs> What's the name? Oh, it's a thimble. Yeah, it's not, I can push it through. It's not that I can't push it through. It's just not sliding through the fabric. You're still hunting for the missing quilt top? Girl, you're going to have to make your husband a new quilt top. <laughs> Am I the only one that listens to your show on YouTube while I'm sewing? Feels like I have a good friend. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, no, I know. Well, I know a bunch of the gals are sipping. I'm not sure how, how many of us are sewing. What kinds of stuff do you like to sell, Darla? Oh, good. Yay. What are you working on tonight? Did you send me a picture? <clears throat> the whole, the whole point of this show is that I was super lonely during the COVID shutdown and I came on air to find all of you all. Cause I needed to be with my, with my people. Uh, Christine says, D -d -d -d, spend all day <laughs> sewing for my kids and grandkids. If I could, I know I hear you. I used to use beeswax to coat the thread, to sew buttons on, huh? Oh, you finally owned it at Lisa. You finally owned up to the fact that your, his quilt top was missing. <laughs> you should whip together one for him while he's away and surprise him with it. I know you have fabric. I know you have fabric. Oh, Bernadette's free, free motion quilting and sipping. Nice. Watch your fingers. Keep your fingers away from the needle, Bernadette. She sews everything, just learning quilting. I sent the picture of the feather weight and asked if it could be a school belt. Oh, well, let me do this. Uh, oh. do, 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 do. Let me, let me go out and look at it. Yeah. Luna, be good girl, please. She's like, I'm always a good girl. What are you talking about? Uh, Ooh, I haven't looked at my email all day long. No. So Darla, this machine is one generation after the school bell. So let me show everybody what we're talking about here. So the school bell has the chrome corner on the right side front of the machine. And what happened was they had to recast all of the, of the moldings to make the machines because these are poured cast aluminum. So in 35 and 36, as they were changing over the casts, 
the molds slowly, they put out this school belt. Do you guys see it? So the notch is there, but it's not a chrome corner. So this machine, I can tell from looking at it, is a 35 or a 36, and it's one generation past the school belt. <laughs> Luna is talking to her, the tribe, yes. <laughs> now, how would I know that you have fa tons of fabric, Lisa? I've heard rumors. And you know how to find yourself to the fabric store, too. <laughs> Brandy says, I'm going to pull out my featherweights and treat them to a spa day. Nice. And start exercising them. They feel ignored. Brandy, I'm going to confiscate those. Um, hi, Melanie. How you doing, girl? Uh, they are feeling ignored since I use my big machine to piece. Oh, your big modern machine. Not your long arm. You didn't use the long arm to piece that big machine. <laughs> Save me some moolah. Oh, saved me some moolah. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I went years and I found maybe a school bell a year. And then all of a sudden last year when we moved here to North Idaho, I actually had three, like three school bells. I never, 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 never had that many. Yes. And they are so reliable. I agree. You look pretty. Do you have a hot date tonight? I'm not talking to Luna. <laughs> Luna Lou. Oh, why? Oh, she's not annoying. She's cute. Things can be annoying and cute at the same time. <laughs> no. It's very true. It's very true. All right. So just so everybody, get, here's a heads up. The so long requires four fat quarters and a yard and a half of backing or background fabric. Just in case anybody wants to dig through their stash. I can't wait for my first weather rate to arrive. It's currently en route from Canada. Oh, 1945. Mm -hmm. So Charlene, do you know if the 1945 has the scroll face plate or is it the lined one? Because sometimes from the ones from Canada and the UK came from factory with the scroll face plate, even though they had technically changed over to the um, to the linear face plate. Oh yeah, so Lisa, Lisa and I spent some time on the phone th this week because she had found a school bell, like a legit school bell cadaver that had been reconditioned on eBay, and someone. I don't know who did it, <laughs> uh, painted it, but it was not like they painted the whole underside of the machine, but the shafts are silver, which tells me that they took all of the guts out of the machine and painted the whole cadaver, including the inside, and then had to get those shafts back in there. And I can assure you that, um, those tensions and tolerances are very tight. I imagine that machine does not sew very well. I imagine it doesn't. Um, <laughs> so it does have the scroll fancy one from New Jersey. That's awesome. Very, you have like a piece of history because the factory had just reopened in 45 after World War II. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, your 47 has a scroll faceplate too, Kathy. Is it from the Elizabeth Port, New Jersey, the U.S.? Is it a U.S. machine? I wonder if someone had changed the faceplate over uh, because 47, they would have definitely been out of those faceplates by 47. I've only seen them on 45s and some 46s. So Charlene is sipping her coffee because it's in the morning in Australia and all of us are winding down our Friday nights. So here in a little bit, I am going to a paint and sew event. I haven't been to one since we moved here. It's been a long time. So there's going to be more sipping and painting this time. It was looked pretty fun. I'm excited to go. Yeah, Andy and I are going to go have a date night ourselves. <laughs> Poor Charlene is just waiting to get her machine in front of her. She's like checking tracking and all that fun stuff. Thank you, Polly, for the recommendation. Yeah. 
<laughs> Kathy from East Texas says, yes, it is a U.S. machine, but with this one, anything is possible. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Oh, P Judy has a 45 with a school plate, too. And you're a 45 baby. Of course you are. That's awesome that you have your same year of birth to you as your machine. That's awesome. Judy, are you sewing yet? Do you feel well enough to prop yourself up to the sewing machine? I am so thankful that, that you're through the IVs because that was scary. I'm sure your husband and your family are also thrilled that you seem to be on the upswing. <laughs> Y'all are so cute over on YouTube. You're like the best cheerleaders ever. Best cheerleaders ever. Oh, Bonnie, you're, Bonnie's on. Hi, Bonnie. Bonnie Pelton's a 45 baby too. Very cool. <laughs> Charlene says coffee just isn't the same as wine. For sure. Oh, no sewing yet, Judy. No. At least you know if you get stuck, you can ask Charlene. Yes, true. Monday night show is perfect for those kind of those kinds of questions. Uh, oh, Kathy and East Texas says she wants a fifty-five, but I'm waiting until who knows fifty. I don't see a fifty-five very often. Hi, Karen in Ohio. Late to the gathering. It's been a week. Both hubby and I. Oh, having COVID. No fun. I hope you're on the upswing, girl. Uh, we race had it recently too. I think I had a smidge also. It's going around again. <laughs> Lisa is Miss Silver Lining. She says that Judy can't sew yet, but it gives her time to plan all of her future projects. <laughs> oh, a 48, Francis? I feel like 48s are easier to find. Uh, Donna Williams says, depending on what... <laughs> oh, uh, Don Williams is suggesting you spike your coffee. <laughs> oh, a 58, not a 48. Okay, that makes sense. Because the U.S. plant closed in, um, the U.S. plant closed in 57. So if you find a 58, it has to come from Canada or um, England. I have never seen a 58. Uh, 61 is also a very rare year. I have one of those in the shop, but it was because I, someone, a friend of mine was in Tennessee and found it in an antique shop and then sent it to me. <gasps> Kim Warren. Hi, Kim Warren. Uh, let's see. Christine says, today, Darlene, I received Dave's featherweight manual. I ordered from you. Can't wait to do it again. Okay. Christine, here is my recommendation for you. Read the first little chapter as a novel. It is stinking hilarious. He has the best he had, had the best sense of humor. You know, his, it's coming around to the one year anniversary in November. We need to do some kind of tribute. I feel like I'll work on that. Okay. Let's see. Fingers crossed that you are all clear from the meds by Christmas. Judy P. Agreed, Polly. Agreed. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Y'all are trying to get Charlene to spike her coffee. I mean, I guess it's Saturday there. Maybe she doesn't have to work. Yes, you do, Miss Lisa. A tan and a black machine. So let's see. Karen says she's taking Pax, what? Pax, Livid, Nasty Stuff, and thankfully on the mend, ready for some wine. You must be feeling better. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Kathy, you keep talking about amaretto and orange juice. For like a, it's like a type of a mimosa. I have to try that. I think I have amaretto. We don't drink very much like liquor, liquor in my house. It's too much work to make, make a cocktail. It's so much easier to open a bottle of wine, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Bernadette says, so fine. A thread gloss is a small female owned business that makes fabulous th thread I think you're trying to say floss, not gloss, right? And you could, no, you're saying gloss and you could get your own sense. What is the, oh, it's a fe Canadian female online business. S so fine thread gloss. Yeah. I'll have to look that up. Hi, Christine. That's okay if you're late. Yeah. Thanks for saying hi. Yeah. Hold on. I gotta look this up now. 
Bernadette has piqued my interest. So, so, okay, it's called So Fine Thread Gloss. So Fine Thread. Reagan and I, yes, always about the lipstick. Yep. Oh, sure enough. Oh, it's at the Fat Quarter Shop. So Fine Thread Gloss Ruby. What is this? Oh my goodness. Look, it has strawberry, natural. God, okay. Well, now I'm going to have to pick me up some of that. That looks awesome. Charlene says, spiked coffee sounds good. However, if I drink now, I won't get any of my housework done. <laughs> now I think about it, maybe wine would be better. <laughs> Who needs to do housework? I need to do housework. Although I got the laundry done this week, so I feel like I'm good. <laughs> uh, Kathy says, yes, I know exactly what you mean, but Christmas brunch or a brunch with the girls, what can I say? I, sp I spiked orange juice is wonderful. <laughs> oh, the person who makes it sells to quilt stores. Hmm. I'm a quilt store. And I like lip gloss. <laughs> I always have to have a, a little shine in the camera. All right, friends, my wine has run out. It's true. Housework does only get one day, Kathy. I agree. And if you miss that day, there's always next week. <laughs> All right, friends, thank you for the chuckles and for tuning in. As always, you make my Friday night. I'll send pictures of my of my painting later. And I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. For those of you getting over your whatever is ailing you, I, uh, I'll pray for continued uh, health and wellness for you. Please stay safe this weekend. And I'll look forward to seeing you on Monday at 4 o'clock Pacific. Charlene, that's first thing in the morning for you. <laughs> Kathy says, I really like next week. Is it for your... <laughs> I don't think the lip gloss is for your thread. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you 4 o'clock.